in the name of the platform that he own. You own a name, my nigga. You on YouTube with everybody the fuck else. You on Apple, Spotify, Spreaker, with everybody the fuck else. You dig what I'm saying? Black people don't own them joints. Black people don't own them joints. You ain't no boss ass nigga. You ain't no boss ass nigga. I just sat down and kicked it with Shaquille O'Neal in real life. Listen to this nigga talk about buying franchises and shit. Buying Reebok and shit like that. This nigga not like that, man. This nigga want to be down. This nigga was... One day you want to be a fucking activist. One day you want to be a fucking activist. You One day you want to be a blood. One day you want to be a fucking Sunni Muslim. You was a, you was a fucking follower, my nigga. You doing too much. You doing too much and you exposing yourself. You exposing yourself. You got something against snitches, right? Yeah, he want to be down. You got something against snitches, right? George Floyd was your man, right? George Floyd was your man, right? George Floyd was convicted because of what? Because of what? George, the, the, the guy who killed George Floyd was convicted because of what? The testimony of the motherfucking witnesses that was out there. The motherfuckers that was out there. That's how That's how you got that fucking conviction. That boy with the afro and shit. That called the police. He was like, man, I didn't want it to go this far and shit like that. All of them niggas. All of them people that testified. Them civilians. That's how you got that conviction. That's how that guy got, got convicted. If it wasn't for that. All of them civilians with their phone out. That's telling too, right? That's telling too. Pulling your phone out while, while crime's being committed. A crime was being committed. A murder. That's telling too. You need to stay in your place, my nigga. He said, I don't even think he knew Floyd like that. I thought I was the only one that felt that way about Steven Jackson. He went too far, man. He went too far. It was cool going to Old Block to shoot ball and shit. You go anywhere and pull up. You an NBA player. You pull up and start shooting a rock with some kids, dribbling and shit, fucking around, taking some pictures, man. That's priceless. They gonna always remember that shit. They're going to always remember that shit. But you're not proving nothing by going to the ghetto, my nigga. You're not proving nothing by carrying fucking ghetto philosophies and you don't live there, my nigga. You ain't lived in the ghetto. You ain't been a part of this shit for the longest. You choose to be a part of this shit. You choose to be a part of this shit. You want to be a blood and then, you know, you start hanging with these niggas over here. You want to be a Sunni. And a... My nigga, get your fucking dribble right. He acting like going to Old Block was on his bucket list. Listen, man. If you was raised right by your mama and daddy, don't come here looking for no fucking parents and shit. Don't look for nobody to lead you and shit. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. These niggas got to... Them niggas is all fucking 85ers. All of them niggas that support that shit... All of them niggas that say they're 85ers. They're 85ers. Every last one of them niggas. If you against righteousness, if you're wrong, he's an 85er and shit. Them niggas is all 85ers. Stack on Bojangles. Time to sixth floor. I appreciate your super chat. He he worked for Showtime. He don't work for himself. He don't work for himself. He don't work for himself. All of that, you don't let people come on the real platforms, my nigga. You ain't like that, my nigga. You not. You not. All you niggas that just started, you know, podcasting. All, all you niggas just running around with microphones and headsets now. In the since the pandemic, we don't respect you. We don't respect you. The shit ain't no good, man. Shit ain't no good, man. I'm a basketball fan, man. It's it's a bunch of them. Depending on who the who the uh. Depending on who the fucking guest is, niggas gonna tune in to hear what Jayla Rose got to say. I think you can't miss. Niggas gonna tune in to hear what Gary Payton, GP, got to say. You can't miss. You can't miss. But you're not doing nothing exceptional, my nigga. You're not. He needs to get into his own age. Hating for what? Hating for what? I had money before that nigga. Was flossing before that nigga. He can't tell me nothing. We had the same life path. I went to the penitentiary. He continued to continue to play ball. He got nothing on me. He got nothing on me. I live like a pro baller. This the, this the dribble you talking to. He 
he don't work for Showtime. He a co-host for their on-time streaming show. These niggas don't speak shit that matter. Just don't even... The shit that we talking about right now, the shit that I'm talking... I don't give a fuck what the fuck he got. He got that playing basketball. That nigga not live to me. Is you out your goddamn mind? You out your goddamn mind? Listen, man. The more motherfuckers speak, the more he go, the more he gonna reveal exactly who you dealing with and shit. When you hear a nigga say some shit like that, he's a grown man, he's a millionaire. Out of all of the things Steven Jackson can spoke about, what he speak about? Something that niggas wanna hear. Something that real street nigga real street niggas wanna hear. Let's talk about snitching. Let's talk about snitching. You old dumbass nigga. You ain't talking about getting no fucking money. You're not talking about no commerce. You're not talking about no... You 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 roll up in that fucking retarded ass neighborhood with all them goddamn killers talking about some you doing a basketball tournament and a food drive. Them niggas need mental health counseling. Them niggas need intervention. Them niggas need education. And you got money to do that shit. How many psychiatrists you take out there with you? Talking about giving away some fucking clothes, my nigga. A food drive. Y'all gonna pass out turkeys? Y'all gonna pass out turkeys? He's a fucking monkey. You ain't got no originality. You niggas need to get y'all fucking weight up. Be getting on here acting like y'all thorough. You came up playing basketball. Good for you. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck. I used to dunk on niggas your size all the time. He should talk about... Man, he could talk about some shit that matters. Do you understand? Do you understand? There's time when a voice is needed. A pro athlete, he can reach a lot of ears and shit. These niggas not Jim Brown, Muhammad Ali character type niggas. They all here talking about snitching. This nigga talking about snitching and you rich. You ain't got nothing else to fucking talk about, man. Put your fucking cam. Put the fucking phone down, my nigga. Stop pretending to be thorough. Is if they invite you to O Block, is you coming? Hell no. I could have went on my fucking own without them niggas. Fuck, I want to go to some fucking O Block Ford, nigga. Ain't no palm trees there. Do I, would I come to O Block? For what? Everybody there killing each other. Fuck, I want to go near them niggas for That's a catastrophe. Talk about coding and trade schools. Exactly. Exactly. Saying rest in peace to King Vaughn, a serial killer. Yeah. Monkey. There was nothing wrong with him going out there playing basketball with them niggas. There was nothing. He got beside himself. He did that. Now, now you talk. You, you, you tripping. You tripping. You tripping. You tripping, my nigga. You tripping. You need to check yourself. You need to look yourself in the Steven Jackson. You need to look yourself in the fucking mirror and understand the destruction of society is amongst us. Motherfuckers get killed every day in the smallest municipalities behind shit that was influenced on the internet. Everybody got a drum. Everybody got a ladder. The fuck is wrong with you? Do you know what this shit could be like in five years? Shit got to get corrected. Then tag the young killer in his video who talking about doing drills. Steven chasing street clout, street cred, street points. Corny. I believe I um I gave this nigga enough. I said what was on my mind. I'm gonna say it again, right? This nigga talk about some don't snitch, don't snitch. George Floyd was your man. He got killed on pu he got killed in public. The people that was there they told on that guy. You dig what I'm saying? You didn't have no problem with that, do you? Do you? You need to stay in your fucking place. You're not thinking logically. You're just thinking in the moment. You want to be down with these rap niggas because you want to be a rapper too and shit. Nobody, t you know, that ain't happening. But you want to be a part of it. We see how you act and care, you know. We get it, my nigga, but you need to chill and shit because a lot of people is paying attention to you. If you ain't got nothing um, informative, 
if you don't have anything uplifting to say, you shouldn't say it, period. This is what Nas was talking about his second childhood. Ain't he supposed to be a righteous man? He Muslim, right? Yeah, he, yeah, he's Muslim. He's Muslim. But we know Muslim niggas do all the killing. Muslim niggas do all the killing. Niggas be Muslim before the killing and after. The Muslim niggas do all the killing. Fuck. Shout out to Kurt Bone. Kurt, man, I'm going to hit you in a minute. Second childhood. His PR team got to be going crazy. Listen, man. Ain't nothing. It would take a it would take someone with extremely low self-esteem to harm Charleston White. It would take someone with extremely low morale to harm him. When he's speaking nothing but the truth. We all know what the truth is because it's it's enlightening, it's illuminating, it's uplifting. You feel that shit. You dig what I'm saying? These niggas don't share and repeat what he be saying and shit. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. Uh I respect what the fuck he doing, but I know these niggas know right from wrong. They know right from wrong. And he shouldn't be saying that. He shouldn't be saying that. Straight up. Some people like Stack living life backwards and a lot of dudes like Young Thug lives goes on. They get all this money and still want to be in the streets backwards. It's cool. It's cool. You're going to the penitentiary. You're going to the penitentiary. They called it. The, it's called the Department of Corrections. And it works. Same thing Charleston White said. It works. Didn't he say it worked? Didn't he, didn't he say it worked? Nigga go to jail or kill her. Get out. Nigga putting the seatbelt on. He don't want to break no laws. That's what the Department of Corrections do to your ass. So what we need is start giving these niggas more life sentences, double life and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, give these niggas more. So they'll fear fucking prosecution because a motherfucker that opened fire in public, in a store, in a nightclub, they don't fear prosecution. They don't. Penitentiary works, though. It do. I promise you it works. He said, Camp Hill has room for him. Yeah. All these dudes wait till they get millions to be gangster. Chris Brown, all these celebrities, I don't get it. I seen I seen pictures of Stack Five before, you know, like maybe he was when he was at Oak Hill Oak Hill. That nigga was wearing them big cheap Chinese store fitted caps, man. Looked like a fucking sun visor and shit. <laughs> My nigga, we got footage. We got footage. So, yeah. Um, I seen what you, you were saying. And she, you were saying we got a little power. You don't. You don't, my nigga. You don't. Nobody's going to follow your ignorant ass. Destroy the children equals commercialized. Listen, anybody to say that anybody that be promoting, that be running around saying stop snitching, stop snitching. They co-signing the killing. They co-signing the killing and shit. They co-signing the killing. These niggas not getting in trouble for birds. These niggas not getting in trouble for no goddamn. These niggas is getting in trouble for pushing motherfuckers off the face of the earth. They not talking about kilos on these wiretaps. These niggas not talking about packs. These niggas talking about zipping a motherfucker the fuck up. That's what they talking about. Society has to be protected from shit like that. For real. For real. These niggas open fire. Bullets go through houses. Hit motherfuckers and shit like that. Little kids can't play outside. Women can't be fucking around. You know, hanging out. About, fucking with their little flowers in the yard and shit like that. They can't do it. Because of these predatory motherfuckers right here. He wants it. Stack 5 wants it to continue. Don't tell. Don't tell. Of all the things, he didn't say don't commit crimes. He didn't say don't commit crimes. He not saying, yo, y'all need to stop this shit. Y'all need to stop saying smoking tuca. Y'all need to stop saying, y'all need to stop this shit. Y'all need to stop saying spin the block. Y'all need to stop talking about dead people in your raps. Y'all need to stop talking about killing. He not doing that. He want to hang with these niggas. He want to hang with these niggas. He do. 
He do. He do. Lots of NBA players that been robbed and maimed in the streets. You know how I know? I done interviewed a lot of fucking jack boys. I done interviewed a lot of fucking jack boys. I never chose to share no robbery, no NBA nigga on this platform. A lot of NBA niggas that been robbed. I know them niggas want protection. I know them niggas want decency. I know they don't feel the same way as this nigga. When them niggas get robbed, tied the fuck up, smacked all in the hand with they fuck with a fucking pistol, who you think they gonna call? Matt Barnes better call him out. That Sacramento got a crazy... Uh, womp, womp, womp. He said, Gully, you say it works, but you don't trust him. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. My last drug case in like 07. It was like 07 or something like that. They did some blatant lying. I couldn't believe it. I was in a situation where all this detective had to do was read this search warrant. That's all he had to do was read this search warrant. Do you know this motherfucker read around? He wouldn't say out of his mouth. He wouldn't say out of his mouth the key words that would spring me and shit. I'm like, I can't fucking believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. I'm, I'm like, I can't. My lawyer like, man, you ain't got nothing to worry about, man. They gonna plead this shit out. It, it, trust me. And they, they ended up, they went away. But once I seen that they would result to resort to cheating, and lying like niggas be uh niggas is under the impression that they protect it with a lawyer niggas is under the impression that they protect it with a lawyer you don't have no fucking rights niggas don't have no rights you're not protected by the fucking constitution did y'all know that niggas not protected by the constitution niggas be resisting arrest talk about i got rights getting jumped on for nothing you getting your ass whooped for nothing my nigga you could spare your own ass. You getting your ass whooped for nothing, resisting arrest, wiggling and all this shit. Talking about you got rights. D didn't you see how that, that wiggle ended for the last 30 motherfuckers? Didn't you see it? Use your fucking head. Don't listen to it. That nigga ain't never been pressed by no goddamn police. He been playing basketball his whole life. He's not nobody that you should be taking that type of advice from. Trust me. He said three-fifths of a man. That tell, there you go. There you go. It's saying a black person, a Negro, three-fifths of a man. So you you mean to tell me you expect a lawyer to go into court and defend you with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be serious, man. Yeah, that wiggle. That wiggle. That wiggle only get the pressure applied to you and shit. He said these are real facts. I done been in real trouble before. I done been in real trouble before. This nigga talking about everybody got a role to play. Everybody got a role to play. Just play that. You feel me? Just play that. This nigga not talking about education. Stack five. You're not talking about education. You're not talking about. You're not encouraging athletes to go to Deion Sanders school. You ain't. Listen to this. This nigga's an athlete. Deion Sanders is an athlete. Deion Sanders is in position right now doing some big things. Right? You're not encouraging athletes to go to uh, historic black colleges and universities. You're not. You're talking about snitching. You're talking about snitching. You ain't got no fucking sense. You need to be censored. You need a muzzle put on your big ass lips. You need a fucking muzzle. You don't got no fucking sense, man. You need to be fucking censored. A person shouldn't listen to you, period. I ain't going to be on here much longer. I said everything I needed to say. I said it already. I said it already. And one thing for sure, two things for certain, the truth, that shit hit hard. That shit hit hard. You shouldn't be saying that shit. And remember what I said. Remember what I said. Everybody in here got grandparents, aunts, uncles, taxpaying citizens that don't bother nobody. They getting carjacked out here. They be getting carjacked out here and shit like that. This nigga talk about don't tell. This nigga talking about don't tell. What the fuck is you talking about? We need the police. We need the police, moron. They got a job to do. You'll catch up on it, man. He ain't got no sense. But anyway, 
Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. He said, get a sh give a shout out to Newark. I'm all through the Brick City, man, on the regular. I didn't already did what I had to do, man. It's your phone. Anyway, follow me on Instagram at I am Gully TV underscore. That's a lost nigga. When y'all, that's a lost nigga. Steven, it's a slave name.